What's going on guys? No Slack Novak back with a brand new episode, brand new series. Well, is it, is it brand new though? Well, no, you know, let's start. Let's start. What's going on guys? No Slack Novak back with Sim Airport. We are finally checking out Sim Airport, seeing what's new. It's been a very long time since we've played it and there have been tons and tons of changes. The game is officially out now. I've played it a little bit. There are tons of new features. You can go on the second floor, third floor, underground basement. Finally, I understand the baggage claim system. Um, there's just there's so much fun stuff to check out with this game, so let's get straight into it. We're gonna do a career mode. I am going to start our airport from scratch. Now, because we're doing carrier mode, we cannot change the map size, but that's fine. We can always expand. We can always purchase more land. Not going to be a problem. Uh, we are starting from scratch. That's going to give us a million bucks to build our airport however we want to build it. We do have 16 airlines. We can go in here. We can kind of edit that out. But you know what? I mean, I'm, I'm good. I'm good with having all of these available right from the get-go. So we're going to stick with that. We're going to go with government grants. Yes, it gives us a couple of... Um, Little things to strive for in terms of maybe potentially getting more cash. Uh, we're going to go ahead, we're going to say yes to that, and let's go ahead and get started right away. I am so excited to finally start playing this game again. As most of you know, this is the game that really turned the No Slack channel into something even worth watching. Um, before I played this game, I think we had something like 200, 300 subscribers. And then after I got started with Sim Airport we jumped up to like 15, 20,000 subs. So uh, those of you that have been here since the original Sim Airport days, thank you very much. I really do appreciate it. And let's get straight into it. Now you can see the government grants over here. We have the million bucks. If we do some of these government grants, it's gonna give us a little extra cash. Um, and now they want us to, let's see, this first track of grants will focus on turning this empty land into a basic functioning airport. Um, so yeah. Payment up front, 250 grand. We'll get a hundred thousand dollar reward once it's completed. If we look on it, it says build a functioning ticket and security zone, build a functioning gate and runway, and then also build a functioning baggage claim. That's not going to be an issue. We're going to go ahead and click on that. It gave us the 250 grand. We'll get the hundred thousand afterwards. Let's go ahead and get straight into building. Now, not the biggest piece of land, um, but again, like I mentioned earlier, we will be able to expand. Now, this is going to be pretty exciting. We've got our drop-off. We've got our pickups. Clearly, that's something that we can change. Uh, we can go into the zoned area, and we can actually, um, you know, either expand them or just completely relocate them. I'm perfectly fine with the way they are right now. Now, what I do want to do, and it's giving me some kind of heads up here. Oh, uh, we need an aircraft gate. We need a runway. Yes, we need ticketing zone security. It just kind of gives you a heads up as to what your... Uh, needs are to complete that grant. Uh, I want to jump straight into building our foundation. Now, mm, I have an idea in mind. Now, I'm thinking, let's do something like uh, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm thinking if we do something like this, let's go slightly smaller. Um, let's start, let's start building that 25 by 21. I don't think we need that much. Let's, let's do, let's do something like this for now. And then our workers are going to go ahead. They're going to start working on that. Now, those of you that have never seen, um, Sim Airport before, we're going to go ahead. We're going to hit play. We're going to have our delivery trucks, our passengers, our buses, our light transit. They're all going to come up from up here. Now we can see here, the supply truck is carrying 15 boxes. Let's speed it up just a little bit more. It's going to come down here and it's going to drop off a whole bunch of stuff. And this is basically just our foundation. You can see walls. Um, what else is over here? Concrete. And it's going to start building this foundation. Now we might want to add a few more workmen. We only have two. Uh, I say let's go up to six. It's going to cost us a little bit of money to hire those extra people. You can kind of see our bank balance up here. Our maximum staff expenses right now is 3600 bucks, which basically just means all of the workers that we have, which as of right now, it should only be the six workmen. If they work 24 hours a day, 
it's going to cost us $3,600 a day. And then you can see too, we're paying some property tax because of the land that we're covering. They're going to go ahead, they're going to build that out. And I kind of want to plan this out a little bit. So let's go back into the foundation. I want our security to be about, about nine tiles. So let's say that looks like it's dead center. So I'm thinking that plus four, one, two, three, four. And then we're going to want a wall there. And then let's do that plus one, two, three, four. We're going to want a wall there. We're going to make this our security. And then I'm going to want a walkway over here too. Um, now the way our walkway, it's going to be three tiles wide. You know, I think we're going to have to go a little bit wider with the initial foundation rectangle. Um, I've, got, I've got something in mind here. Um, now I, I'm going to want... I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek here and this is all going to take very long this initial episode is mostly just going to be getting this airport built and i'm not sure if we'll really get into the flights we'll see um so we're going to have a wall here and i think we're going to need about one two three four for the restrooms that i'm going to put there we're going to need a wall one two three and then i'm going to want a wall up here too so i'm going to want all of this actually to be foundation and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. So again, this is gonna be a wall. We're gonna do one, two, three, four for the restrooms. Wall, one, two, that's gonna be that. Bam, this is what we're gonna do. And we're gonna make this entire thing foundation. Maybe I should hire a few more workers just to get this knocked out a little bit faster. Oh, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. You guys are gonna see it's gonna it's gonna develop very 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 nicely um, So we're gonna have a security basically what we're gonna do I don't like how it highlights this little all these areas over here but Basically what we're gonna do is this is gonna be our like entry area, right? This is where people are gonna get off the bus get off the light rail. They're gonna come in here They're gonna go into the ticketing area so they can get their boarding passes, etc. They're going to go through the middle of our little area here, which is going to be security. You know, they're going to go through the ID check. They're going to get their bag scanned, go through the metal detectors, all that good stuff. Then they're going to pop out here, and it's going to be like our main terminal. They're going to come out here. It's going to be a long, long, long terminal. And then we're going to have a bunch of gates up here. And then for the most part, our taxiways and our runways are going to be all the way up here. And we're going to have... I don't know. I'm thinking we'll probably just start off with the one runway. I think that's all you really need when you only have a few gates. But I think we're going to start off with probably two, maybe three smaller gates. Just so we can accept some sort of uh, airlines. And, um, you know, start getting some money coming in. Now, I'm also going to want to do fuel. We're going to want to sell fuel to the airlines. That's just another really good way of getting some extra cash. And then um, I'm trying to think, what are some other ways of getting a little bit of extra cash? Uh, we're obviously going to charge them for using our runway. We're going to charge them per passenger for people using our, our airport. That's going to be super important because you can see we got that $250,000 and we're already down about 400000 just with building this foundation over here. And that's really all we've done, the foundation and a few of these workers. Now we might, we might have to apply for a loan here. Uh, at some point hopefully we won't have to but I'm thinking we probably will anyways we'll get to that when we get to it right now I really wish these guys would speed up you know what I guess it would help if I had it on max speed uh, they'll get this knocked out a little bit faster we're also gonna need a fence uh, just to kind of make this a secure area so with the fence what we're gonna do is we're gonna just drag it from the wall all the way down to the corner of the map the edge of the map we're gonna do the same thing over here and that's just gonna make it so that everything to the right of the fence is gonna be a secured area um, you know as you guys all know airports are high security areas TSA security police FBI DEA all these guys patrolling the airports um, looking good, looking good. We're going to have to do a couple of adjustments here with removing some of these walls that I kind of wish weren't there, but uh, it's not going to be bad. Um, so we're again, this is going to be our ticketing. This is going to be our security area. 
we're gonna kind of have walkways up here and down here so that when people are leaving they can go through the secured area and pop out and go into the drop-off area or we're also gonna have a baggage claim area down here and they'll be able to collect their bags and leave the airport that way now that being said let's go ahead and let's pop in some doors as well now there are so many items when you go into the construction panel I mean if you guys haven't played this game in a while and the last time you guys have seen this was when I played it there's so many new things moving walkways it's basically those little flat escalators that just you know zoom you down these long terminals we're probably gonna get those eventually they cost a lot of money I'm not sure that's something I really want to spend our money on right now um, objects I mean look at this look at all these gates we've got a peril stand arcade games pinball machines ATMs bag scanners baggage carousels bars bench uh, different bench types I like that you've got your kind of uh, luxury you can maybe use this for the um, like the first class lounge which is something you can do now you can actually build a first class lounge and it's pretty cool too because you can you can build like a universal first class lounge I guess just for everybody to use well all the first class passengers but then you can actually also build it and then dedicate it to a certain airline um, and that kind of helps you get more I guess you know more benefits with that airline but you know like I said so this is a pretty nice little black looks like like a leather couch type of thing you could have that in the first class area you could have some of these cheaper options and they're they, they cost the same but they just look like cheaper options you can have those in the main terminal Oh, look at that it's done they're gonna start working on the fences too now I do want to start knocking some of these things out um, let's go with the dismantle tool this is gonna to need to get dismantled this is gonna to need to get dismantled and the same thing with this stuff over here and let's go ahead and get those doors in a little bit off track there for a second um, uh, how about I think it's sliding door sliding door but that you know what that that's smaller one I want here we go large sliding door we can rotate by hitting R now they can pop out this way so let's put a door there and there you know what I don't like it I don't like it cancel project we're gonna have to rebuild the wall there um, I just don't like it because the doorway here is right next to storage I kind of don't want to do that I kind of want to just move it up a little bit more so let's go maybe one two three squares up and then we'll do the same thing here I think that's uh, well let's put the door back or the wall back sliding door uh, what we do three so one two three bam and then maybe put one like right in the middle Ooh, that's not really in the middle is it um let's do just two and two let's just do something like that plenty of entry and exit points right there that looks good again this is going to be our security area so we're going to want to put a security person over here um let's start setting up mm, you know what Oh man, so much to do. I'm so excited. This game is going to be so much fun. Um, one, two, three. So we're going to want a wall here. We're going to turn this into a restroom. Um, now I'm thinking we might I kind of want to do a different door here, but you know what? I'm getting too, I'm getting too cute with this. We're going to do something like that. We're going to do the same thing over here. One, two, three. Build a wall here. And then go yadi yadi ya. Let's just put a regular old door in there, nothing too fancy. We're gonna put it there. We're gonna put it there. And then I'm gonna also want. Ah oh man. One, two, three, four, five-ish. That should be enough. That looks like it's right about in the middle. Let's go ahead and put a wall here. And what we're gonna do is because this is gonna be a secured area past this point right here. This is going to be the restroom for the people in the secured area and this is going to be the restroom for the people in the unsecured area in kind of like the ticket area so that's what we're going to go with there now let's go ahead and start setting up the bathrooms too you know what yeah let's let's start doing that let's do the bathrooms so what we're going to do uh nothing there okay let's just do some sinks um 
this is gonna look good. Let's do one, two, three. We'll do the same thing up here. One, two, three. We're gonna copy this look down here, just inverse it. And then we're gonna need some toilets, toilet stalls. I think uh, maybe we'll do some more toilet stalls. Maybe we'll do one, two, three, four. Do the same over here. Again, let's inverse it over y'all. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is gonna be good. Now we're gonna want also some trash bins in the restroom. Um, I say let's put one here and here and by the sinks here and here. Um, this is gonna need a door. We'll put that in a little bit later. Now what is this warning? Must be a functional restroom zone. Yes, we also need to zone it. Well, let's find that. So male restrooms, we'll make these are the male restrooms up here. We will do female restrooms down here. And it should be good. Now, yes, this needs a door to get in there. We'll take care of that here in a second. Let's start setting up our security. So I want to do um, I want to do metal detector. Let's do and it's very important. Remember that arrow up there. Let's do. Mm, yeah, let's do metal detector there. Then we are going to do the bag scanner. That's very important. Uh, we also have to be mindful of the arrows there. So we'll do something like that. Metal detector is going to go there. Scanner there. Metal detector there. Scanner there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have the three, um, three stations where people can go. Let's zoom in a little bit more. Make sure that this is all looking nice and pretty. And that is basically going to be it. Now, obviously, we need some security. We need to make this a security zone. We're also going to need to hire some security personnel. Um, I am going to want to do an ID check stand. Now, I think we're going to need about three from the get-go. Now, I'm thinking let's maybe do two from the wall there, one, two from the wall there, and we'll put one right smack dab in the middle. That's going to be good. We're going to have to set up some queues, which, as you guys remember, probably from the initial uh, Let's Play that we did, the queues are they're super important. I'll just say that. Now, I think I'm going to have it set up to where it pops out here. Now, we're going to do kind of like a little tail thing here. And this should, you know, let's go out just a little bit more and we'll do something like that. Uh, it's quite long, but you know, it's gonna be necessary because we're gonna have a lot of people and then obviously we're also gonna need to assign this queue assign make this one nope. uh, Assign to this queue here and Let's do the same thing here assign to there. So now all of these should be assigned. They are beautiful. Good 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 We can hire some people we can actually expand on our terminal area here what I also want to do is I want to check out the um, the ticketing ticketing desk ticketing kiosk I think what we're gonna do is let's mm, this is gonna be a little bit tricky see what I'm saying so they're gonna come in here they're gonna do their ticketing things they're gonna come here through security and then once we get all this built out whenever people are leaving the airport they're gonna come through here and then we're gonna make this kind of a secured area just so that they can only enter from the right side from the terminal they're gonna come out here and they're gonna to go to their destination or they're gonna to go to maybe the baggage claim now what I'm thinking we do is since this is gonna be pretty much just a leave like a leave the airport type of area let's maybe do a wall up here block that off somewhat and then we can kind of do our ticketing stuff over here so ticketing desk um, we can do like one two three ticketing desks that'll be more than enough and then I'm thinking maybe ah man where's a good spot to put these I was gonna say maybe we could put these ticketing kiosks over here but that's that doesn't look right with uh, with the restrooms right there um, maybe we do maybe you do something down here kind of make this more of a 
I think what that's what we're gonna do. We are gonna we're gonna put a wall there. We're gonna put some ticketing kiosks over here, and then let's go ahead and we're also gonna build out this wall over here. And we just want to match this up, so something like this. I think that's gonna look good. That's gonna be real good. We could put some more ticketing kiosks down there too, maybe. Well, you know, we'll wait. Don't want to blow too much money on that. Now, these guys are gonna probably need their own queue. Not probably, they're definitely gonna need their own queue. Let's go ahead and set that up now. Um, we're gonna have them pop out here in the middle, and I'm thinking let's do something like this. And that should be good there. Not a huge fan of the way that these look, but I mean, it's realistic. Uh, assign to the queue, assign to there and then let's do the same thing here and now we should be good they should all be assigned beautiful 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 now we need staff functional ticketing so what we're gonna do let's start zoning this stuff um, let's find where the ticketing zone is ticketing we are going to make this ticketing we are also gonna make this ticketing over here and then let's go ahead and do security we are going to make this entire area here security. Good, good, good. All that's good. Now we can start. I kind of want to put down some nice flooring, but that's going to wait a little bit. We're going to just start expanding. Uh, go back to the foundation and just start building a large foundation for our actual terminal. Now what I think I'm going to want to do, I'm not going to want to make this too large of an area. Maybe something like... Mm, something like this. Uh, yeah, something like that. And then let's go ahead and expand the foundation even more this way. Yeah, we're, def de <laughs> we're definitely going to need that loan. Um, just because I'm going to want multiple gates. Ah, uh, man, let's do that for now. And then let's check out the gates. want to start kind of putting those in there. So... Here's the thing, here's something new that you guys haven't seen, at least not on my Let's Plays. This large aircraft gate here, you can see in the requirements, um, outdoors only, that's obvious, and then it requires a door to the terminal on floor two. Now, to be able to build on floor two, that's gonna cost a lot of money, we're gonna need to do some research, that's not something that we're gonna really get to on this episode. Um, now with the remote gate, that's something we can build like further away, don't want to get into that that's gonna you know we're gonna have to start doing buses and like transportation systems to be able to do that so what we're gonna do for now while our airport is fairly new and small we're gonna do these small gates now you guys can see these are quite quite large and unfortunately not really all that flexible with where you can place them so I'm thinking I uh, probably should check this out a little bit earlier. We're going to put, that's the small aircraft gate? Man, okay. So we're going to put it, I'm going to want two. We, we're going to have to have at least two. Dang it. Okay, we're going to do that. And we're going to need to expand our, we're going to need to expand our foundation. No reason to not have it all the way up. To like right here see insufficient funds uh oh uh okay let's try to make this maybe a little bit smaller do something like that oh we're, we're definitely without a doubt we're gonna need that loan um let's do something like this for now just so we can start getting cash in here and then i don't really want i accidentally made this a little too wide i don't want it that wide but anyways we're gonna have these guys work on that we're gonna have to take out the loan. We're losing so much money, um, $9,500 a day, plus all the stuff that we're building. And we haven't even hired all the people that we're gonna need to hire. Now, so we've got that. That's gonna go all, uh, that's gonna get built here shortly. Let's start planning our taxiway. Actually, I'm a little curious about the grant. Where did that go? Staff, packed, passenger flow, decision sector, secure. Where is our little grant? Here, government grants. Um, unlocks next tier. 
Um, we still need to build functioning gate and runway. We're going to do that now. Build a functioning baggage claim. That's going to be easy too. So they're going to work on the rest of this. We're going to need to build a taxiway. Let's do something like this. And then we're going to come up here. And we're going to do the runway. Now, concrete runway. Let's do... Uh, see insufficient funds and this is really cool too as you're dragging too short for all aircraft too short and then we're gonna go one more nope okay one more and now it's long enough to do all of those um, all of those planes but as you go further and further out you can see that we're getting the option to do more and more airplanes now the most important ones for us now are gonna be like those Boeing 737s um, those hold quite a few passengers so I'm thinking we're going to need about 100, let's see, so $172,000 to build that. We're going to need a little bit more money for some more taxiways. I say let's get a loan. We're going to do a loan. We're going to do a loan for a full million. Apply for that. We're going to accept it. And we've got our million. So we're really like kind of $2 million in the hole here. But uh, let's go ahead. We're going to finish building this concrete runway. I kind of maybe... Let's do it up here. So I, I want to be able to get as many of these air, uh, airplanes in here. That No difference there. A little bit of a difference there. So we're going to go with the larger option. We're going to put it there. Let's go ahead and finish out the taxiways. Bring that down here. Connect it up. And that's going to be good there. Now we're also going to want to have the uh, planes be able to come in in the evening time. So, you know, once that's done, we can actually upgrade the runway. We're going to put some Pappy lights, the air traffic, control tower, all that good stuff. And let's go ahead and finish this. Now, I do want to make this, or I should rather say, I don't want to make this episode super, super long. Why you always um, let's go ahead and dismantle some of these walls up here. And you know what, we'll leave that since I already spent money on it. We're going to leave that there. Demolish some of these. They'll knock that out pretty quickly. Now we're going to need our gate desks. Gate agent desk. We're going to want to put these suckers right, uh, like right here. I believe they go to the left. We're going to put this one in essentially the same spot. We're going to do some cues for those guys, too. Now, not, not a crazy amount of passengers are going to use this. So we'll do... Um, I mean, that should suffice. Let's just do that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Uh, you know what? I kind of made this one in the wrong spot. Um, shrink queue. And let's put it out here. Bam. Good, good, good. Now we're gonna obviously need to assign those desks as well. What else do these guys need? So they need a secure area, which it should have, I believe. Um, we should be in a secured area. Now, oh, you know what, we're not, because they can come out this way. Not a problem, not a problem, that's an easy fix. Our fence is all the way up here to the top, correct? Yes, it is, good, good, good. So they need a secure area. We're going to have that here in a second. Requires at least one gate agent desk to be assigned. Once they build those, we'll be fine. Uh, requires a taxiway path to at least one runway. That's all being built. That is good too. And then requires a door to the terminal on the ground floor. Um, that is something they have as well. Now, I don't believe we need to like label this a terminal zone. Mm, let's double check here. No, no terminal zone, nothing like that. Let's go ahead. Oh, you guys are knocking out the runway and everything, right? The runway and the taxiways take a long time, especially the runway. They're going to knock that out here in a second, and we will be good. We will be good. We'll be ready to start taking planes here not too long from now. Not too long. Let's see here. We do need some staff. I don't want to hire them right now just because they're going to eat up money and we're not, we don't have passengers coming in. So not something I want to do at, you know, at this moment. 
Now, we do still need the aircraft gate to be functional, runway to be functional. That's all going to be knocked out here very quickly. And then we need a baggage claim zone. Yes, yes, yes. Baggage claim zone. Let's, um, okay, we're going to need to expand uh, some, some area down here and make that our baggage claim zone. What I also want to do first, though, is secure. Mm, here we go. Security exit. Let's zoom in so we can get this position the right way. Um, so you guys can see the little red right there, meaning don't come in. Green meaning yes, you can. We're going to put that right there. And that's going to essentially turn this into like a no entry and then exit only area here. We're going to do the same thing up here. And that's going to make that a perfectly secured zone. And then we're going to need to expand down here and make this kind of like a baggage area. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Uh, foundation. I don't want to make it too large. I don't want to make it too large. Maybe just something like... Something like that is going to be more than enough for now. They're going to start uh, working on that. Hopefully the runway is already finished. Uh, looks like runway is finished. We can go ahead and upgrade that. We're going to put the runway lights. This will allow us to do like early morning flights as well as afternoon flights or evening flights. We're going to absolutely have to have that in order to be able to turn a profit. Um, then let's also upgrade. We're going to do the Pappy lights. We're going to put these bad boys just over here. Let's make sure that they're placed correctly. Lights facing where they land. And then also one more thing, we're going to put the runway ILS and that's just going to make it a little bit safer. That way they can land, I want to say right now they can only land with winds at like 12 miles an hour. If we include this, I, I want to say that's going to extend it to either 15, possibly even 20. Looks like that is all good. One gate agent does to be assigned. We have those. Let's go ahead and knock that out. Assigned to gate A1. This one is going to be assigned to gate B1. And we should, we should be good. Now this requires a secure area. Oh, I guess we should maybe demolish this wall over here, huh? And that should be it. We should be able to start taking passengers here pretty soon. I did forget that the restrooms up here also need a door. Let's go ahead and put that in there. Uh, we'll put the door up here. We'll put this door over here. And we should be good. Door must be reachable from at least one assigned gate. A oh yeah, we're... <laughs> um, let's put sliding doors here and here. People do need to get out there, don't they? And that should be it. We should be able to start taking uh, flights tomorrow. It is currently 6 a.m. on day five. It took us five days to build the airport. Let's just pretend, let's pretend five months. Even five months would be super long to build something like this. Uh, super short, actually. I mean, if you can build all this in five months, that's, that would be incredible. So let's just, let's just pretend that instead of days, this is months. And I kind of feel like pretending like maybe there's an extra zero or two over here too. Just because $615,000 isn't a ridiculous amount when you're talking, you know, a major, major airport. Which, I mean, let's be honest, this isn't a major airport. It's only got two, two gates. But hey, it's not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and let's start scheduling some of these flights. But you know what? Right before we do that, we still need a functioning baggage claim. This is built. Let's go ahead and remove the walls. Bam. They're going to remove that. We're going to make this a baggage claim area. Uh, I hope. Come on. Somebody remove that last sucker right there. We can make that baggage claim there as well. And then that's just going to be so security can come in here and they're going to start dropping off bags. You guys will see that here in a second. Oh boy. All right. We are going to go ahead and schedule, you know, so this is done. Let's knock that out, right? Oh no, there's something else. Uh, run for the, uh, run the airport for two full days, build two ticket and kiosks. We have that three normal or extra light fl uh, flight displays. Okay. So we need three flight displays. We need to schedule five flights. Three displays and five flights. Let's go ahead and knock out these displays first. 
a lot of different displays. Flight info display. We will put one by ticketing. I think like, you know, this is a good spot for it right there. And then maybe let's put another one like right when you walk in. It's like right when you walk in there and then right when you walk in over here. And that's the three. That's the three we need. Now we just need the five flight schedule. Let's go ahead and knock that out. So these are the airlines here that are interested in working with us at this time. You can see there are a few that are still locked. But basically, these are the ones that are open to working with us. So let's go ahead and start knocking out who's got the most flights. Learny, uh, Learnyville Air here. They've got 17, 22 flights that they're willing to work with us on. However, they only have these two types, uh, 19 maximum passengers and 50. We want to kind of go towards the larger aircraft. So I'm thinking maybe Pacific Airlines here. Let's see, they've got an A320. The A320 can hold 150. So we're going to do all three of these. Um, let's accept all three of those. And then the Beechcraft, the Beechcraft can only do 19. So I don't want to do that. Let's find another airline. Um, okay, nobody really with anything crazy. So let's go with Aerotime. Boeing 707, that's a larger. Um, 180 maximum passengers. So we'll do, oh, we can't do that one. Boeing at least, a uh, runway has to be at least 150 in length. Okay. And it requires a large gate. That makes sense. How about this E195? How many does that hold? 90 passengers. I kind of want to do more than that. I want to do more. Um, Boeing 737, that's going to hold 140. Absolutely, we'll do that. And then we can't do the 707. Let's just kind of schedule this for now. See what this looks like. So we're going to put this bad boy right there, put that guy right there. We can actually shorten this up a little bit. Let's spread it out just a little bit more. And we're going to put you over here. Do something like this. And then we could do one, two, probably three more afternoon flights. Let's see who's got some. Uh, they've got the five. Uh, Let's check you guys out. Uh, DBQ 400, that is, uh, that's only, well, no, yeah, it's only 50. No, I want to stay away from that. Uh, it's 9.56 p.m. I want to start scheduling some of these flights. Because if I don't, if I schedule them after midnight, they're not going to come tomorrow. Oh, man, let's do, okay. So how about Union Air? Uh, I believe maybe we just check those. Star flight, afternoon, 737, 140 passengers. Absolutely, we'll do that. So let's put you over here. Shorten that up a little bit. We're not going to need these guys to be at the gate for that long is why I'm kind of relocating these guys. Um, bam, bam, bam. What do you got for me? 737, accept. What do you got for me? Uh, smaller plane, smaller plane. Don't want to do that. What have you got for me? DBQ, that's a smaller plane as well. 707, E195, 90 passengers. We might have to go for that. And then a 737. Let's go ahead. We'll do the 737 and we'll do the E195. We'll be able to schedule those bad boys. Get you in there. Get you guys over here. And I, I do want to fill this out, but I think I'm just going to have to wait until we get a little bit of a better reputation. So for now, we've got eight flights scheduled, nothing in the evening. Let's go ahead and address that real quick. Small aircrafts, no. Boeing 737, we'll accept that. Um, CRJ 900, uh, 75 passengers, fine, fine, we'll accept that. And that's, that's all we can do? Okay, that's a little disappointing. But anyways, we'll put you right there, and we'll put you right there. Again, we're going to shorten it up a little bit. We're not going to need all that time. It's 10.40 p.m. This is excellent. We can actually start. Um, let's do the air traffic control tower. We're going to have to have that. And we're almost ready to start accepting flights, guys. Um, bam. We accepted that. It gave us $100,000, and we're good. Air traffic control tower. Let's put this bad boy over here. Where can we place this? Too close to nearby taxiway. And then that's probably too close to the actual runway. 
I'm thinking, but we're gonna wanna, okay, we're gonna wanna expand upwards. But maybe that makes sense to put it up there. Can we put it like way over here? Yes, okay, we're gonna put it right there. That's gonna get built. Let's speed it up a little bit. We're gonna hire some more staff too. Um, we're gonna need five of these bad boys. Bam. We're gonna need some security, right? We're gonna need, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna need nine security. Oh yeah, it tells me right there. Nine security. Hire those guys. Workmen, we can actually cut down on. Uh, janitors, let's just do one janitor for now. We're not gonna need a chef. We're not gonna need a real retail worker until next episode. We can close this out. Let's speed up time a little bit. Come on workers, I need you to build that ATC tower for me. Come on, come on, come on. Uh-oh, what's going on? Okay, nothing. Good, good, good. Our security area is looking perfect. Our guys are knocking this out. Come on, guys. Get up there. Build that 25%. There you go. Knock that thing out. And we still have 702,000. So that is built. We It is 1 a.m. We can actually start accepting these flights. And our first flight is going to be at 6 a.m., Oh, uh, this is going to be exciting. 6 a.m. That means they'll probably start arriving around 3 or 4 a.m. Let's watch this unfold. Hopefully everything works out just fine. Oh, this is going to be exciting. This, this airport is going to be huge and it's going to be beautiful. And I just, I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. Uh, well, we're going to make this so large. It's going to be awesome. All right. 3 a.m. Are we going to get people to start showing up? Here we go. Our first passengers are showing up to the airport. Some of them are deciding to use the ticket and kiosks. This gentleman up here is deciding to go through the entire snake and go into the ticketing area here. And now you should see him check some baggage. That's probably why those guys went to the, uh, the kiosk. They didn't have baggage to check. But let's see. This gentleman, he's, getting, he's doing his thing. Did he check anything? He didn't even check any baggage. Oh, look at that. Look how many people. We're probably going to want to have some, uh, some queues over here too. Because without the cues, they're just kind of like doing their own thing, like lollygagging, not really being all, uh, you know, efficient. But look at that. People are going to go through the ID check. Bam, bam, bam. Getting their IDs checked. Coming up here. Putting their shoes and laptops and all that stuff on the uh, the conveyor belt. Look at that. They got their bins. That guy put his laptop and cell phone through. This guy put his little uh, travel bag through there. Beautiful. People coming up. Cell phone and watch. Cell phone. Beautiful. Going through there. They're coming into the terminal. And now, basically, they just wait. Um, now, clearly, I mean, our terminal is... Our terminal sucks. There's nothing there. There's no food. There's nothing to look at. There's no place to even sit. That's something that we're going to have to address in episode two. Um, however, 3.30 a.m., let's speed up time a little bit. We are going to, and you can see to see our passenger satisfaction, it's only 51%. I mean, it's going up, but it's only 51%. And that's because we don't have the vending machines. We don't even have a place for them to sit. Now, sure, that's something that I could you know, build relatively quickly, but you know, we're going to take our time and we're going to make this a beautiful, efficient airport. And it's five o'clock, meaning the first airplane is going to land here any minute. And we're going to start boarding and we're going to make sure that everything works beautifully. There it is. First plane, WestJet 1984. Welcome to No Slack Airport. Now it's going to have to deplane and clean. They're going to have to unload the baggage. They're going to have to load new baggage and they're going to have to board. So check this out. Check this out. Got the little, uh, ah, what is that called? Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure what that's called. I know it's called a jetway when it's like attached to the, to the terminal. That might still be kind of a jetway. Everybody's getting off the plane. And now we've got some of the crew. I'm guessing that's a passenger. Okay, we've got the passengers boarding. Now I'm waiting on the baggage. We should have baggage coming through here, getting picked up really so Oh, there it is. I missed it. We've got the cart. We've got the workman with the baggage trolley. He's waiting at the door. They're going to pick up the baggage. Looks like there were 20 bags that needed to be unloaded. They got them unloaded. He's going to take them over here to... Let's speed this up a little bit. 
He's going to take him over here to the baggage claim area, and he's just going to drop that off. And that's going to be for the people that were on the flight, right, that just landed. And then he's going to have to come back, or actually looks like this gentleman came and actually delivered the bags from ticketing onto the airplane. Um, baggage loaded? No, they haven't been loaded yet. We do have 85 out of the 88 passengers on there, but none of the bags have been loaded yet. 87 of 88, and looks like our last person got on, so that's excellent. We still have 76 minutes until this plane is ready to take off, which is why I said that. We don't need to schedule them to be there for that long, but... Um, you know what? I mean, we're, we're just that efficient. We're that efficient. These guys are going to unload the rest of the bags. As you can see there, baggage loaded, 20. Bam, 100% boarded like an hour in advance. That is absolutely beautiful. Same thing is going to happen with this flight. We're going to watch WestJet 1984 take off. First plane to take off from No Slack International. And that's going to be the end of episode one, guys. If you guys have enjoyed Sim Airport episode one, it's been at least a year since we've played Sim Airport. Hopefully you guys are liking the changes. Um, I hope this wing doesn't clip. Nope, it looks like it just missed the runway ILS. Looks like it just missed. But looks like right now, day one, it's not day one, it's day six, but it's day one of us actually accepting flights. Looks like we're losing $953 a day. That's not ideal, but you know, we'll fix that. Don't worry. Ne next episode, we're going to fix that right up. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that little bell notification so that you can actually, you know, get notified when I do release a new video. I think what we're going to do is we're going to release about two videos a week. I think right now the plan is to do maybe like Saturdays and Tuesdays or Saturdays and Wednesdays, something along those lines. That's to be determined. We'll figure that out. But I think I'm going to shoot for two episodes every week. Again, guys, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit that like button. Uh, follow me on Twitter. Uh, links to all that are going to be in the description below. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys on episode two. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.